May 11th, 1.03 p.m. Temple, Temple. Welcome back, everybody! We managed to survive that first day of court with only one guilty verdict. Only one. Got lucky. Got a little lucky, though. Now, it's time to be investigating a little bit more because we got another murder on our hands. And how the heck did this murder happen? I have no idea, man. A real mystery. What do I do now? I can't believe Maya and I are at, were actually found guilty. Oh boy. This trial need not be drawn out any longer. Defenses fail to counter the charge filed by the prosecution. According to the law, I invoke the Defense Culpability Act against the defense. Now then. Court finds the accused Maya Fay and the defense Phoenix Wright. Guilty. It's kind of weird seeing that in flashback form, honestly. Ah! Phoenix Wright has whited out. Oh my gosh, yes, we just literally saw this. Well, I mean, for me a few minutes ago, for you guys yesterday, but still, we just saw this, though. M -m Mr. Wright. <clears throat> Albi, I saw the whole trial. What's going to happen to Miss Maya now? I'm worried about that, too. <coughs> but right now... Well, I mean, not guilt- the guilty, I mean, could be overturned if we find something with this new murder, right? So, I mean, I have to think that'd be the case. I have one more thing to report, Prosecutor Saad Mahdi. Yes. This dagger. It's a big dagger! It bears the fingerprints of Maya Fey on it. Right now, I need to focus on the next trial. The murder of Acolyte Zealot, right? The jury is still out on that one, so to speak. The two murders are most likely connected. Wait, so they did they ever mention who was murdered? So it was Acolyte Zealot that got murdered? Hmm. So he was also murdered. That's interesting. Also, our escape prisoner friend is just not on here anymore for some weird reason. That's kind of odd, I feel. Two murders are most likely connected. If I can get to the bottom of Acolyte Zealot's murder, it might give me the ammunition I need to overturn Maya's guilty verdict. Let me help you investigate. I want to assist you any way I can. Appreciate it, Albie, but we're talking about a murder. Yeah, but it's going to be hard for a foreigner to investigate this on his own. You have a point there. Hmm... Oh wait, that was funny, I said hmm on my own, and then he said hmm, I wish I knew what to do. Um, hi? Uh, dot 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 Hmm? Isn't that... Your benevolence. Dot 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 Um, Princess Rafa? Hmm? Oh, it is you again. A dead lawyer walking guilty of abetting a murderer under the Defense Culpability Act. Ugh, I see she hasn't lost any of her charm. Dot 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 Or did she? Why the long face? I thought you'd be glad I was found guilty under the DC Act. Hm. I'm in no mood to take joy in your suffering. For I was unable to defeat you and had to leave the job to others. I failed in my sacred duty as the royal priestess. This answers my question. Have I misunderstood the voice of the Minima yet again? This cannot be! Plop. All I did was defend my client. Nah, I can't bear to see her looking so sad like this, though. Your benevolence. Your benevolence! Hmm? Oh, barbed head. I thought you had already begun your journey to the Twilight Realm. I'm not dead yet! So, an investigation to do for tomorrow's trial. What's this? Do you mean to say... You have not given up yet? That's right. 
I'm going to prove Maya innocent tomorrow. But why? Why do you refuse to give up? I cannot fathom such obstinacy. Investigate all you want. I care not. Really don't mind? But aren't you worried that a lawyer backed into a corner by the DC Act might do something desperate like forge evidence? What's this? If left unsupervised, I'd be free to do whatever I want, you know? Grr. Okay, now to see if she takes the bait. <clears throat> yes, I see your point. Bobbed head. Yes. I know what happened yesterday. You perpetrated some sort of fraud or other misdeed while I was not watching. Huh? That explains why you misunderstood the voice of the High Priest's soul. Yes, of course, that is the only explanation. Uh huh. Dot 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 dot. I was just trying to cheer her up, now she thinks even less of me. I must not allow you to sully our sacred hall of justice with your misdeeds ever again. Therefore, today I will be monitoring your every move once more. I will not fail to spot your misdeeds this time. The moment I see anything out of the ordinary, I will send you straight to prison. And you, boy, do not throw your lot in with this foreign devil. But your benevolence... It's okay, Albie. You don't need to worry about me. I'll be back before you know it. But first, I should probably lighten my load a bit. Albie, would you mind holding on to some evidence for me? Of course not. I'm always glad to help. Unnecessary evidence unloaded onto Albie. Has it already been unloaded? Well, that's looking like a no anyway. So we got three pages plus one thing. Alright, remember those items, everyone. Remember those items. May the Holy Mother's blessings be upon you. <coughs> okay, so now we just got the newspaper. Wow, we just dropped this down to basically two pages worth of evidence, huh? Page and a half more like it, really. Oh, that's, that's some good stuff, though. Now then. Seeing the crime is a logical place to start. If I recall correctly, the body was found at the Plaza of Devotion. The Plaza of Devotion, huh? Any ideas? That boy has grown far too close to you. You require re-education if you persist in befriending lawyers. Re-education? What exactly does that entail? First, you must meditate upon Lady Kira for 48 hours in the prayer pose. How is that re-education? It sounds more like torture to me. It kind of does, doesn't it? What to do? Bobbed head, you have an investigation to conduct. Do you not? Get on with it. Yes, but why does she always have to be like this? What? Would you have preferred to that tour guide boy tag along instead? Huh? Oh, um... Hmm. And here I've read your mind most accurately. Smile of hers is downright scary. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit, for sure. Alright, I don't suppose... Wait, why am I able to examine all this stuff again? Oh my gosh. No, I shouldn't be allowed to re-examine all this stuff, though. Okay, well, I mean, I guess I'll just do it anyway. <coughs> just in case. You never know when there might be something new to look at, but there was nothing new, so I don't understand any of this stuff. But okay, dokie, then. Alright, so I don't know if I should be re-presenting everything again or what, but Yeah, okay, I probably shouldn't represent everything. So what's new since the last time we talked to her? Was it um just this? I believe that was just it, and there seems to be nothing else, so okie dokie then. Alright, anyway, let's get moving to where the Plaza Devotion, I believe they said. <coughs> Oh boy. May 11th, Plaza of Devotion. Looks like the police already finished their investigation. To think someone would be killed here. Place devoted to prayer. The body outline and flowers. Did someone leave them here in the memory of the deceased? Hmm, there's something different about the prayer flags today. 
As the high priest's disciple, acolyte zealot was utterly devoted to his training. First the high priest, and now his devoted disciple. Maya Faye will pay for this. As I keep trying to tell you, Maya has nothing to do with any of this. And you can prove this how? What do you think I'm doing here? Gathering dirt and dust for the trial? You and your smart mouth. This is precisely why you and your loyally ilk are so reviled. Hey, Mr. Wright. Oh. <laughs> God dang it. I always get the voice wrong, I swear. Emma! It's that detective from your country again. E! It's the princess! You seem displeased that I am here. Oh, no, no, no. Don't be silly. Mr. Wright, I'm, uh, I'm so sorry about what happened to Maya. It's not your fault, Emma. You were just doing your job. And if I had just done mine... Mr. Wright! It's no use crying over spilled milk. Would you mind telling me what you know about the murder? It's do or die in court tomorrow. And I mean that literally. Gladly, I'll help in any way I can. Remember, I have my eyes on the both of you. So see it so that you commit no misdeeds. Of course not. Hmm, you're talking to a professional here. Jeez, man. All his accusation stuff, I swear, man. Alright, I don't even know what's new since the last time we actually saw Emma. <coughs> I would guess, uh, well, not that anyway. That's probably the same thing. So Maya statement? Nope. How about this? Nothing to say about that. Okay, okay. How about, uh, how about this? Uh, I was kind of wish you say something about this. It's kind of a random object. Sort of. All right, so we got nothing. All right, let's examine the area first since we got some new stuff to look at. Okay, so nothing new there, which was kind of to be expected. You said something about being new, but even though apparently they're new, according to Phoenix, they're still not gonna say anything different about it. I guess. Okay. And this. Anchorite Zella was killed in a prayer pose. With his head bent over like that, the last thing he saw must have been his rug. Yeah, so there's not going to be really a divination seance for this, right? It is a prayer rug woven by devout monks. May the Holy Mother's blessed blessing be upon his departed soul. Strange that there are no blood stains, though. Hmm. Perhaps it was so cold his blood froze, or perhaps it was absorbed by his vestment. It is pretty cold. Maybe this blood really did just freeze inside his body. Well, that seems kind of odd if that were the case, but I, I guess. These flowers are left here in memory of Acolyte Zealot. What are they called? They are known as Namanda, and they are given to express sorrow when a life is lost. Seems offering flowers in memory of the dead is a universal practice. Uh, Namanda flower added the court record. A flower the Kurainis used to pay tribute to the departed. Express heartfelt sympathy. I was gonna say, they kind of look like glaze lilies from Genshin Impact a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, and last but not least, this. Acolyte Zealot, Zealot died beneath, <sighs> bent over in prayer. There's no trace of blood on the ground, though. There's so little bleeding could mean it was a single stab to a vital point. Not that it would have been very difficult considering the position he was in. Yeah, that's true too. Anyway, alright, Emma! Hey, guess what? We're gonna talk about the incident. Let's see, how about starting with an overview of what happened? Sure, the victim is Pere Zelot. He was the high priest's disciple. His body was discovered around noon today, right after the rites wrapped up, so during the High Priest murder trial. That's... that's right. Apparently he had been here praying since the day before the rite even started. How a serious devotion. Yeah, it barely lasted a few minutes. This is a picture of Mr. Zealot's body. Whoa, okay. Dagger on his upper back looks like it would have been particularly painful. Is that a tattoo on the back of his neck? 
was gonna say it looks like a peach. Peach shaped! Everyone started leaving when the praying was finally done. Well, the victim remained bent over in prayer, and when they went over to check on him, they discovered he was dead. Uh, they discovered he was dead, right? Crime photo zealot added to the court record. Killed in the Plaza Devotion, he was, has a peach shaped tattoo in the nape of his neck. What is a nape? Yes, the estimated time of death is May 9th, sometime between start of the rite and discovery of the high priest's body. What? Wait, 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 wait. Did, did she say the time of death? You mean this guy's been dead and nobody knows until literally just... What? In other words, we believe the crime took place during the purification rite. And the murder weapon was the same ceremony dagger that killed the high priest. Prosecution believes Maya came down the stairs after killing the high priest. And then stabbed Mr. Zealot with the same dagger. Circumstantial evidence does point to Maya, but... What about the cause of death? He apparently died instantly from the dagger that he left thrust into his upper back. Here's the autopsy report. <coughs> imagine if, um... Imagine if he not passed up from his back pain, he would have freaking, um... He would have seen... Or at least heard the murder happen, you know? Because, I mean, there's no way he would be as focused as all these other people were. Because, I mean, like, how the heck were all these people focused anyway? Uh, anyway, Zelda's autopsy report added to the court record. Cause of death was a spinal cord injury from being stabbed in the upper back by a bladed weapon. Okay. That's made time of death, you say? How can you know such a thing? I want to know. Well, barbed head, out with it. Why would I know? I'm not a detective. I don't know that. I'm not in forensics. Okie dokie, and... Not to mention, that dagger's been there the whole time. Wouldn't they have noticed a dagger was there too? Caused a spinal cord injury from a stab wound to his back. The weapon is thought to be the Warbod dagger. Same weapon used to kill the High Priest. Alright. Oh, so the Princess of the Spirit Medium Kingdom is interested in forensic science? Hmm. I have no interest in science, forensic or otherwise. Nevertheless, I will someday be queen. As such, it would be wise to know what silly things the common folk believe in. Tis, there's nothing silly about it. I'll have you know, even Prosecutor Sadmati he holds forensics in high regard. Does he? Hmm, perhaps I should not underestimate the power of the science. Still, I suppose it is nothing much compared to the Divination Seance. She really doesn't have an adorable bone in her body. Emma, I think she's actually interested. Would you mind explaining it to her? I guess I have to now. Okay. There are many ways to estimate the time of death, but the most well-known method uses the change in body temperature. Interesting. Body temperature drops at a steady rate from the moment a person dies. That means we can tell how long someone's been dead by measuring their temperature. Okay, but that only really works in certain environments? And you kind of have to have an understanding too about how much body temperature drops based off of the air temperature, the wind, and stuff like that too. And it's basically useless whenever it's hot outside. I mean, if it was literally, if the air temperature was the same as the body temperature, then you wouldn't get a proper read on that at all, would you? I mean, I guess you could. I don't know. Yeah, maybe you could still, but... I feel like it'd be harder. Hmm, I see, that was quite enlightening. Bobbed head, present your forehead now. What? Why? Ask Apollo, not me. Hmm, you feel just a little over 95 degrees. I, well, isn't like body temperature supposed to be like 98 point something degrees Fahrenheit? Seems you're not dead yet. Of course I'm not. <laughs> it was but a jest. After all, you're still the dead lawyer walking. Not to see the humor in any of this. Were there any witnesses? There's so many people here at the plaza. You'd think somebody would have seen something. You'd think so, wouldn't you? But we haven't found a single witness. How is that even possible? Because everyone was bent over, utterly devoted to prayer, naturally. 
All right, the back shattering pose that nearly killed me. <coughs> Man, like I said, those people are way too focused on their prayers. It's so ridiculous. And well, I guess maybe that guy must. Maybe that guy was a rebel too, or something. I don't even know, man. But otherwise, why kill him and not just kill everyone in the in the area? So I think someone would have noticed something. I thought so too, but the monk scarf he had on, no one could see the dagger in his upper back. Because everyone was so absorbed in prayer, they didn't see or hear anything. I can't believe this. What you choose to believe is your choice, but the fact remains there were no witnesses. However, there is one piece of irrefutable evidence. The dagger. Sadly, yes. Arg. Hmm. Well, now that we got some new evidence, let's go ahead and present that real quick, because why the heck not? Alright, flowers. Whoa, nothing to say about flowers? Dang. Tell me, give me the details. Based on the estimated time of death, we believe he was killed during the ride itself. Because he was stabbed in the upper back with a dagger and died instantly. There's so many people here, how could no one have noticed? I know, I can't believe it either. I said we're just that focused on their prayers or something. Which is insane, honestly. It really is. Oh, it's gonna be the same thing. It's just like the previous one. It's just like the previous one. Okay, talk to me. About the murder weapon. Can you tell me about the murder weapon? Killer used the Warbot Dagger, the legendary weapon of Lady Hira. It was discovered and impaled in the victim's upper back. The accused fingerprints were found on the dagger, were they not? Y yes, they were. Warbot Dagger added to the court record. With such irrefutable evidence, there was no questioning the accused guilt. Not so fast, what about a motive? Maya had no reason to kill Acolyte Zealot. What does the police think about this matter? Hmm, indeed. Oops, frick. Crud. I literally accidentally slapped the up button when I was moving my hand and it, I did not mean to do that. That was an accident. Oh, gosh. Motive! Maya had no reason to kill Acolyte Zealot. So you say, but let us now hear what the police think about the matter. The police believe Maya is a Lady Kira, is a Lady Kira figure who has been battling the rebels. So Mr. Zealot was a disciple of the High Priest, he turned out to be a rebel. He too was likely a rebel, and therefore met the same untimely demise as his teacher. Very possible indeed, I guess. Yes, that that is how the police currently view this crime. There's no way Maya is that Lady Kira Vigilante. I agree on a personal level, but the police are just going up with what today's trial would conclude. Ngurk. I really blew it in court today. Uh, let's see. Well, you might have blew it, Phoenix, but you're okay, man. You're okay. Uh, what else do I even have to really go for now? <coughs> that doesn't really help. Wait. I never did look at this, did I? I don't think I did. Oh well. I mean, we forgot to do it for the first one, but here's the second one. Purification right, serial murder. Defendant age 28, victim age 21, Maya Fey and Pure Zealot. Notes Maya suspected the serial killings. The victim was killed while praying to Lady Kira. I don't suppose the other one would be there. Probably not. Okay then. Well, uh... I guess we'll move to somewhere else? I mean, where else are we gonna go right now? Hey, can I present these new things to you as well? Nothing about the flowers? Aw, but I would think you'd give me some more information since, you know, it's a Kurainese thing, you know? Oh well. Ah, the second murder victim. Did you know Acolyte Zealot too, your benevolence? I knew of him. I know we've been living under the care of a bot and me and at his home, but little else. You mean like how they're letting me stay at the temple? Are you seriously trying to insult the poor victim with your comparison, you filthy dog? Hey, what was that comparison for? 
Oh, there was nothing to it. Just, just a thing, you know, Phoenix. Calm down, man. <coughs> it's gonna be okay. Alright, so nothing there either. How about the bazaar? Nothing at the bazaar, huh? Inner Sanctum? Nothing there either. How about the High Priest House? Hey, this is where we gotta go now. May 11th, High Priest House. Hello, I'm sorry to bother you again, but... Oh, it's you. Bobbed head. You are not contemplating casting suspicion upon Lady Believe, are you? She lost her beloved husband, and now Acolyte Zealot, who was like a son to her. Of course I'm not. Since she was close to both victims, I wanted to hear what she has to say. Very well. And then there's the fact that Lady Kira didn't tag Mrs. Inmi. Well, I mean, she isn't a rebel. Is this about poor Pure? Well, I'm sorry, but I don't think I can talk about that right now. But... What about Maya? She's innocent. Maya, I heard she was found guilty. First my dear husband and now Pure. This is in me. You don't really believe that Maya's a killer, do you? I, I, I don't know. But that was the verdict. So what else can I believe? What am I to do? The verdict was already reached in your husband's case, but the truth of the matter is yet to be found. How can you be so sure? Go these, because... <laughs> Because I believe that Maya is innocent. That is all I have right now. My faith in her. So please, help me understand what happened. So you're... You're defending her based on your, solely on faith? Even though you'll be punished for abetting at the accused? That's right. Uh, Alright then. Faith has moved me. I will tell you what I can. Are you sure about this lady believe? My lovely wife is also a devout flower follower of Kurainism. As such, she is not one to make light of another's faith. But if I find that you have lied about your faith in Maya Fey's innocence... Anger! I shall curse your entire family and all your disciples for the next eight generations. Hey, leave Athena and Apollo alone, buddy. Wait, 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 wait. Uh... Where, where does Athena come into this, though? <coughs> and, and on top of that, too, Apollo's not family either, you know? Trucy, like, adopted daughter and stuff like that, but, like, you don't mention Trucy anywhere in here. That's weird. All right, all right, you're ready for some evidence? Because I'm ready to present some evidence. Did we really toss the arrow? We never presented that in court, did we? <coughs> That's kind of weird. That's... It's a strap that Maya received. Would well, you happen to know anything about it? It's for the Plum Punisher action hero. Of course she knows Bob, and it's only the most popular show in all of Kurain. It would seem that the Royal Priest is more familiar with the matter than I. What? N no, I was simply advocating on behalf of the show's fans. Oh, where are you now? Hmm, a likely story indeed. Alright, anything about the flower? Nope. I don't know anything about flowers. Oh, poor Pere. He has joined my husband in the Twilight Realm. He was so full of life before he went out to the plaza. This must be most difficult for you. It is like losing a family member. What's that, dear? Yes, you're right. I don't know what would have become of me if my husband were not here by my side. Um, is there anything you can tell me about Acolyte Zealot that might help? He was a kindly young man. Let us leave it at that. Hmm, well that's good that he was kindly anyway. <coughs> don't suppose anything new here. Probably not, honestly. I don't see anything new. Yeah, I'm just not even going to bother looking at things right now. Pure Zealot. How did Acolyte Zealot end up living here as your husband's disciple? About two years ago, when my husband was on a spiritual retreat in the mountains, 
came across Pere, collapsed on the ground. That's when he brought him here. You always wanted to help those in need, weren't you, dear? And he'd been living here ever since. About two years ago, that's around the same time Maya arrived in Kurine. Yes, he was born in a poor village and had nowhere to call home. My husband felt pity for the boy, so he took him in as a disciple. But not only as his disciple, he was like a member of our family too. I see. This is where Acolyte Zealot lived. There might be something I could learn about him lying around here. Really? Okay, so I guess I do gotta examine things then. Alright, let's we'll examine things until we find something, I guess. Oh, it appears you are quite fond of rummaging through the garbage. Thought there might be some other important piece of evidence in here. Oh, is that right? Doesn't look any different than before, anyway. Look, I'm not doing this for fun, really. Doesn't look like there's anything else of interest in there. Yeah. Guess not. What a magnificent altar. Whoa! What an altar, man! This is a long one. Okay, how about this? Nope. Nothing with that. I would imagine the chest thing is not going to lead to anything either, but I'll check that. That's also... Nope! Well, how about... Uh, I can't check the bag? Okay, I thought I could check the bag, honestly. Those? These are the queen and her husband, the Justice Minister of Kurine. It's my mother and my father. What do you think? Do they not possess an awe-inspiring air? Oh, um, terrifying is more the word I would use. Well, yes, they're very awe-inspiring. Yeah, they're totally so awe-inspiring. They're amazing. Really, I can't turn the TV on either? Well, then where the flip am I supposed to look around? Because, I mean, I've literally looked at everything at this point. Oh, no, 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 Wait. Why did I not see that before? Photo of the High Priest, his wife, Acolyte, Zealot, and Maya. Says Maya's in it. It must have been taken the day before the rite. I should ask Mrs. Inmi about it. Family photo added to the court record. A picture of Maya and the High Priest family taken during the Feast of Blessings on the day before the rite. Oh boy, if only they knew what was coming the next day. I think this would be their final family photo. Yeah, it's pretty sad, no doubt. It's pretty sad. I mean, look at them. Look at how happy they look. Oh my gosh. Oh well, what can you do? That no good Maya Fey has some nerve. I mean, here she is posing with the two men whom she would soon kill. I beg to differ. I see this photo as proof that she didn't kill them. Hmm. <laughs> that smile of hers does not fool me. The deep and abiding malice behind it. For Maya's smile is the real deal. Jeez, you say that, but yeah, you don't know anything now. You know nothing. Oh, he has a dagger I forgot to present, too. Can I ask you about this photo? It was taken during the Feast of Blessings, the day before the rite was held. The Feast of Blessings? Would you mind telling me a little more about it? Yeah, could you, after I present this dagger, that is? Nope. Alrighty then, if that's not the answer then... You know, I'm just gonna leave real quick. And go back to Inner Sanctum. And I'm gonna go ahead and present this gosh darn dagger to you now. That is a sacred dagger used in the purification rite. In using it for murder, the vile criminal known as Maya Fey shall be cursed for all eternity. Nothing's been proven yet, so stop treating her like a criminal. How do you explain the accused fingerprints all over the dagger then? And the fact that Abbot and me was slain with this very weapon. I I hate it when I have no comeback. We'll see, you'll see very soon how we'll explain it. Emma? 
I gotta show you the dagger as well, I think. Also, this family photo. Actually, you know what? I forgot to show... Oh my gosh. I to show Rafa that too. The photo. Maya's fingerprints were found on the dagger that was used in the murder. Police are therefore investigating her as the prime suspect. The evidence is irrefutable, with no room for argument. I really don't want to treat Maya as a suspect, but... Based on the evidence and police reports I've received so far, it's not looking good. Not good, more like, how could it get any worse? True? Alright, alright, if that's all you gotta say about that, then let's go back to... The Inner Sanctum again, and go present the photo to her now, because I completely forgot about that. Man, Phoenix, what happened to not wanting to make this trek multiple times, huh? No thoughts on the family photo, rip. Okay, okay. I got a little sleepy, I need to go to sleep soon. That was probably gonna be my plan after I'm done recording this episode, I'm gonna go right to sleep. Cause I've been sleepy, darn it, very sleepy. The day before. So probably don't expect this to go too far past 45 minutes today, cause I'm sleepy. This photo was this photo was taken during the Feast of Blessings. The Feast of Blessings? Yes, it is forbidden to eat during the days of the rite. The day before it's performed, we enjoy dishes full of gin. Gingilly, an herb known to strengthen the body and mind. You love the gingilly based dishes I make, didn't you, dear? Oh, you bet I did. <laughs> gingilly, I heard you can do go three days without sleeping after eating some. Yes, but many foreigners don't care for it because of its strong smell. Our customs say that these dishes can only be eaten the day before the purification rite. And only between noon and 3 p.m. That's a very, very, very short amount of time that you can eat that. That's kind of nuts. It's pretty specific, no doubt. Is it because the smell is too strong? A very good guess indeed. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. It is to ensure the smell is gone by the time Data Kira is welcome the next day. Wow, is it really that strong? Come to think of it, the evening before the murder... An overwhelming odor was all over town. It was like a cross between garlic and mint. After the Feast of Blessings, Puree went over to the plaza to begin his su supplication. I never thought that would be the last time I would see him. And was Maya doing it? What was Maya doing at the time? Shortly after, the after Puree left, she went to the temple to prepare for the rite. I don't know what she did after that. Believe statement added to the court record. Alright, so Acolyte Zella went out to pray the afternoon before the rite? Let's see, saying about the Feast of Blessing that was held the day before the rite. A family photo was taken during the Feast of Blessings where it's customary to partake in dishes made with gingilly. These dishes are pre only prepared during the feast, which starts at noon on the day before the rite. Must be finished by 3 p.m. the same day. Is gingilly even a real thing, or is that just something that made up for this game? But I'm kind of curious what that even is supposed to be in the first place. And if it's real, is it good? Has anyone ever tried gin jelly if it's real? I'm, I'm just curious. I mean, hmm. I wonder. According to the newspaper. On the day before the rite, the plaza was so cold the whole place had iced over. Hooray, hooray always prayed a lot. I wonder why. Far more than anyone I have ever known. He lives up to his name, at least. He was a devout young man whose faith was twice as strong as others. Again, living up to his name. I don't know why, but that's kind of intimidating to me. Pretty nuts, no doubt. Thought I had made some progress by now. But I haven't come across any particularly insightful information, even here. You seem disappointed. Mrs. Inmi, is there anything else you could tell me? Forgive me, but if I keep thinking about those two any longer... Bobbed head. Yes, I understand. Thank you for your help. I'm sorry to have troubled you. You have not found or heard anything of particular worth. Are you ready to give up? No, I'm not calling it quits yet. 
Yeah, I don't need to call it quits yet. We need to just keep on going. Keep on going. Nothing to say about your own statement? Okay. Well, in that case, where are we going? The Inner Sanctum is a no, 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 apparently. Mm, how about the Plaza Devotion? Well, at the very least, let's go present a statement to her, I suppose. And that's a noob, which is not a surprise at all, of course. Alright, Bazaar? Nothing here either? Okay. How about I present this to you now? I have no thoughts about this worthless statement. Whoa. How rude. How could you do that? Talk to Maya, maybe? No? Really? Guess back to Temple Temple? Wait, what? Uh, what are we doing now? I actually don't know what we're doing right now. Talk? Okay, so that doesn't answer any questions. Plaza Devotion, we go back to talk to Emma again? That wasn't something I overlooked, was there? No? Okay? And there was nothing here either, apparently, right? So why did we do that? I'm not liking this. I'm not liking this because I don't even know where to go. But if you're going to say you already looked around here, I guess we'll go... I guess we'll investigate other areas and just see what we're missing, if anything. Alright, search over never heard our look around. Oh, well, that's new. That landing looks broken. Oh. Well, it's just weird that this didn't have anything, but then this one did. So that was kind of weird, I guess, but alright. I'm just gonna look again anyway, even if it doesn't really make a lot of sense to do so. They might have already said, like, no, we're good, man, we're good. Yeah, that's how we found that. I can't believe Mr. Arbal uses a parachute. That reckless fool. Then again, he must have a screw loose if he counts himself among those vile rebels. I won't exactly call him crazy, but he's certainly one of a kind. One of a kind indeed, no doubt. Alright, let's get out of here. <coughs> Still don't know what to do, though. Back to the Plaza Devotion, see if there's anything we missed here? We already checked Emma to see if there's anything to talk about. So there's nothing to worry about. What? This prayer flag looks much newer than the rest. Benevolence, what does it say here? Dearest wishes of our subjects are written upon these prayer flags. Reading the prayers of others is considered rude. But you must know. It says, at the usual spot, bring grub, the key to. Hmm? That is one of the more direct and practical prayers I have ever seen. It doesn't sound like a prayer at all, honestly. I wonder if it's even a prayer. Brand new flag added the court record. I remember they said something about there being something new there, but I like I went over and I didn't see it. But I see it was a very specific spot on those flags, and I just overlooked that. That's a big rip. Anyway, brand new prayer flag found at the Plaza of Devotion has some writing on it. The message on the prayer flag seems a little weird, but I'm not sure it's related to this case. Considering it was out of the court record, it probably is. <laughs> we have paid a visit to all the people and places connected with the case. I think it's about time you prepared yourself for the inevitable, don't you? Why do I get the weird feeling Mrs. Inmi is actually the guilty one here? Maybe. Does it look like you have any hope of winning, Mr. Ray? <coughs> Excuse me. Woo! Came out of nowhere. Emma. I can't really say at this point. All I know is I have to keep investigating. What are you two sneaks up to? I'd advise you to get back to work if you're done here, detective. 
Otherwise, I will report you to Prosecutor Saad Mahdi for de dereliction of duty. I, 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 I'm going, I'm going. We'll see you later, Mr. Wright, and good luck. Well, Barbhead, it's not time to give up. No, there's still someone I need to talk to first. Maya? I would assume? Talk to those related to the incident? Oh. You know, I was, I, I wonder, will they ever bring back Emma's sister in a case? Well, you think they would at some point anyway, you know? Any ideas? So are you ready to give up, Barbed Head? Any more of this and you will cause Lady In Me to suffer more than you, she already has. I understand what you mean, but I can't give up that easily. After all, I have to defend Maya in court. Stubborn fool. But you've already been found guilty. If you wish to continue floundering about, I suppose now is your last chance. Oh, uh, excuse me. I'll take every chance I can get. What to do? What have you given up already? Not even close. Still, it does feel like I'm barely treading water over here. Water, do all people of your country go for a swim when they are troubled? So seek the rivers on the edge of town. There you will find all the water you need. Go ahead, paddle to your heart's content. English idioms go right over her head. Do they though? Do they? Yeah, they probably do actually. Alright. Mmm. I do need to present a thing real quick. That being the brand new flag, of course. And you got nothing to say about it, which is pretty cool too. Alright, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for that valuable information. Now, I'm going to go present that to her now, too. Probably not going to unlock anything new, but you never know. Whoa. Nothing. What a surprise. Well, that wouldn't be the next location, I would think. Nope, it's not. I would guess the bazaar, personally. Alright, let's go check out the bazaar. Okay, I guess it's not the bazaar then? Detention center? Talk to Maya? Oh. May 11th, detention center. Dot, 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 dot. Well, everyone, she's got nothing to say, but perhaps tomorrow she'll have something to say. So, on the next exciting episode, everyone, we will question Maya some more. See what she knows, if anything, which obviously, why would she know anything about this? I mean, she literally could not have been there, right? So, she already had, doesn't know anything about what happened in the first one. Why would she know anything about this one? I, I feel like, yeah, she might have given us some helpful statements, but... What can she give us for this one? Probably nothing, honestly, but... Anyway, everyone, I hope you all have a nice day. We're gonna go question her some more tomorrow. I'll see you later. Let me know what you thought about the investigation so far. It is gonna get some it's gonna get pretty dicey in here, as usual, of course. Oh boy. Mystery murders. Gotta love them. Gotta love them. You never know what happens till the end. I would honestly say... I would honestly say, though, I think, uh... If we're ruling out the prisoner, then honestly, maybe... Maybe she's the one who did it. <coughs> maybe she's the one who did it? She usually plays the part of Lady Kira in the Purification right? You know, it's it's possible. It is possible. You never know. You never know. That, that I think that's my Dark Horse candidate. Or, no. I, I shouldn't even say Dark Horse candidate at this point. I mean, like, we don't even have a candidate. I feel like... If the Prisoner's not the one who did it, then maybe she has to be my top suspect right now. And maybe the Prisoner did do it. I don't know. I don't really know that for sure, I guess. But I would say that... She is the top suspect for me, anyway. Maybe the prisoner could still be it, but I'm having my doubts on that after what happened in the first day of trial, but yeah. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I mean, no spoilers, obviously, if you already know, but if you don't know, what do you think? Let me know what you think. And anyway, everyone, I will see y'all next time. Uh, tomorrow, we'll get to questioning Maya, and who knows, maybe we'll get back to court as well? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, bye-bye, everyone. Have a good one. Hello everyone, you've reached the end of this video, but before we go for the day, I'd just like to give a quick shout out to the tier 4 and 5 channel members. 
Phoenix Edge War, Acheron X2, Menthi, and Meister Papala. Thank you all for being awesome and supporting the channel. If you too would like to also get your name shouted out at the end of each video and live stream, shoutouts are available for all tier 4 and 5 channel members. I hope you all have an awesome day. I'll see you all later.